What's up, YouTubers and dronies? This is Mike for Drones Are Eagles. Today is the big day. The Rocky location is coming to you from South Philadelphia. Finally, I'm getting it done. It is freezing out here. Man, it is cold, mid-30s. But on the scooter, it feels like mid-20s. Man, this is very, very, very cold out here. But guys, man, you asked for it. I'm bringing it to you. I promise. And here it is. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that like button. And make sure you hit that notification notification button. So you'll be notified every time I go live. So please, everybody else, you know the routine. Enjoy the vlog. Love you guys. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits New bricks? Yeah, oh, this is a very solid neighborhood. Yeah? You know, like, it's very I nice. like these bricks. They're very nicely done here. Look very solid. Nice. nice mailbox. I like this mailbox. You know, these numbers almost add up to nine here. I like that. That's a good omen. This is my first stop and the rocky locations in South Philly. As you can see, 2313 Lambert Street. This is the house Adrian and Rocky bought and Rocky too. Um, on the corner, on the on this side of the street, on the corner. If you look at the if you look at the movie, you're gonna see an orange little sign. There used to be a golf gas station over there. It used to be a golf gas station. It's no longer there. But if you watch the movie, you'll see, if you look down the street, you'll see the little bit of the side of the golf sign is orange. Golf gas station, 2313 Lambert. Cool history. Let's go to the second scene. Okay, guys, here's the second location. Um, this is going to be hard to do because I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk and have to push my scooter. But this scene, this corner right here, that's where the store was at. That's the store where little Marie was smoking cigarettes. As you can see, it's an apartment building now. But that was the stoop they were sitting on, as you just seen in the clip. And we're going to take that walk, the same walk that little Marie took and we're gonna take a walk now and you're gonna see behind me they took this walk and then you see the back back street okay so let's move it let's move it forward there we go and let's walk it so they came this way Ah, this is hard to do with the scooter. Um, uh, you'll see this background, this building here. This was uh, a, like a, a steel building. Now you see they turned it into apartment buildings. But they turned right here. As, uh, take a look at the poles. See the little poles? These poles are still in the movie. Okay, so this is the street here. And they cut through this fence right here. 
Can you cut through that fence? Right there. So we're gonna have to walk around and come to the parking lot. But as you can see, look at the houses. If you can see anything up top that recognizes, that you can recognize. Count the houses. One, two, three, four. The fourth house is in front of the gate. So I never counted the houses from the corner, but you can count it and you can see. So let me pause this and I'm gonna walk around and go to the front to go on the other side of that gate. Hey, hey, don't you never say that. Hey, hey, you know, when I was your age, there was only one girl in the whole neighborhood that talked like that. You know what I mean? That was it, just one. What are you doing? Well, I'll make your teeth yellow. Don't do that. I like yellow teeth. I'll make your breath like garbage. Maybe I like garbage. Come on, nobody likes garbage. Anyway, this girl with the dirty mouth, she wasn't bad looking, but you see, none of the guys ever took her serious, you see? They never took her out for any serious date. Why? Because that's the way guys are. They laugh when you talk dirty, they think you're cute. But after a while, you get a reputation, that's it. You get no respect, you understand? You get no respect. I gotta use a bad word. Whore. You understand? Whore. See, you use dirty words and maybe you end up becoming a whore, you understand? Hey, that don't matter to you. Matter. You don't really have to be one, you just act like one and that's it. Boom. Hey, you get a bad rep, you understand? 20 years from now, 20 years from now, people are gonna say, hey, do you remember Marie? No, who's she? Uh, she's a little whore that hung down the atomic hoagie shop. Oh yeah, 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 now I remember her. You see, they don't remember you, they remember the rep. You understand? Hey, you got a boyfriend? No, you ain't got a boyfriend. You know why? Why don't you think you have a boyfriend? Because you're hanging out with them coconuts in the corner, you understand? You hang out with them coconuts, you get nowhere. They're lemons. Lemons. You hang out with nice people, you get nice friends, you understand? You hang out with smart people, you get smart friends. You hang out with yo-yo people, you get yo-yo friends. You see, simple math, math. I hope you ain't going to hear What was I going to say? You hope I don't keep acting like a whore, I'll turn into one, right? Yeah, something like that. Night, Rocky. Night, Marie. Take care, you know? Hey, Rocky. Yo. Screw you, creepo. There used, there used to be a building right here. There used to be a building right here that was for the church. But as you can see, they walk this way. Um, then you seen the traffic light of the corner of Tuffin Jackson. There's the traffic light that you see in the movie for Tuffin Jackson. There's the big building there. Let me walk this way. And they came this way. And she was there, 1124. That would be uh, over there, 1124. That's the one with the orange awning, right there. 1124, the orange awning. That's what she turned around and said, hey, Rocky, screw you, creepo. And then he walked, he, she said, screw you, creepo. And he walked across the street. And if you see the, the clip, this pole is still here. And he was, uh, body punching he was body punching this if we watch the clip as he walked away he gave it a left i think he gave it two left that pole right there and it continued on this way well so that's it 1124 that's uh the orange awning that's little marie's house and the movie rocky 2 uh, pretty cool now we're gonna go now we're gonna go to where they got married to the church where they got married where father come on father come on can you throw me down a couple blessings that's next guys stay tuned yo father carmine father carmine it's drones are eagles Ma che cosa vai là? Non 
Yeah, I was wondering if like, like if maybe you can throw down a couple of blessings for me, like if, like if my channel doesn't, you know, do too good or unsuccessful or anything like that, you know, throw me a couple of blessings down here. You know, I just want to make, be successful on my channel and bring, bring good content to everybody. I love when he does that. Thanks a lot, Father. Take care. Father Carmine! Hey, Father Carmine, you home? Father Carmine! Hey, yo, Father Carmine! Rocky, okay, yeah. That's me, Rocky Balboa. Rocky? Yeah. Ma che cosa vai là? Non deve fare la lotta questa fe. Oh, yeah, I'm going to the fight right now, but I was wondering if you could do me a small favor, you know? Ma sicuro, che favore, che? Well, it's about the fight, you know. Now I got the family and the baby and all that stuff, and I was wondering, you know, if you could throw down a blessing so that if I get beat up tonight, you know, it won't be too bad, you know? Could you do something like that? Padre, figlio, spirito santo. E così sì. Thanks a lot, Father. Listen, I appreciate it. I gotta go. I'm so late. I'll see you in church, I hope. Take care. As you know, as you can see, we are here. Father uh, Carmine. How many Rockets did he play in? I know he was inside down Kensington watching the fight. But uh man, oh, I love doing that. Uh let's take it around the front. But this is the parking lot, as you can see. There's a school behind it right over there. And this is the church. And I want to take you to the front. I'm assuming they stood right here for the movie and it went like this. And then it went inside. It went inside of the wedding. So there it is. Rocky 2, Adrian and Rocky got married. Adrian and Rocky got married. Rocky 2. Rocky Balboa, volete prendere Adriana Pennino qui presente per la vostra moglie? Yeah, absolutely, yes. Adriana Pennino, volete prendere a Rocky Balboa qui presente per vostro marito? I do. Thanks. Hey guys, before I go to Pat Steaks, there was one more stop I had to stop uh, before I got to Pat Steaks. Uh, Victor's Cafe. Uh, this is was that Adrian's Cafe? Was it called or Adrian's Restaurant? And what's it? What was it? Apollo? I think it was Apollo Creed. It was Creed. Uh, this is the restaurant. Let me turn it around. This was the restaurant in the movie Creed. I believe it was part one and two. It's called Victor's Cafe. Um, you can see inside. Is somebody in there? Yeah, somebody's in there. Yep, that's it. This is Victor's Cafe, guys. Um, well, I, I believe it was called Adrian's Cafe or Adrian's Restaurant or something like that. And um, this is where Rocky gave his son that speech. Remember the speech that he gave him about being a coward? That's not you or something like that. It was standing right out front here. Can I talk with you? Sure. Can you do it outside? You used to fit right here. I'd hold you up and say to your mother, this kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. And you grew up good and wonderful. It was great just watching every day was like a privilege. Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit 
and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm always gonna love you no matter what. Our next stop is Pat Stakes right behind me as you can see. Pat Stakes, Geno's is on the other side. I'll show you a video of that in a second. Pat Stakes, Rocky one, Rocky stood here. I'll show you where. And this is the front, this is the front. And he stood right here. Listen, the, the reason I brought you is because I, I want to know if you got any money for training expenses, huh? I got a few dollars. A few bucks? Well, here. Put this in your glove. What's this? 500 bucks. Don't worry about it. You know, you ain't never had any luck. But I think this time Lady Luck may be in your corner. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe. Hey, thanks for the money, Tom, you know? It's okay. Don't worry about it. Thanks a lot. See you, all right? Hey, wait a minute. What? You're in training, huh? Come on. Hey. Joe Tony. What? You gonna show up at the fight? Ringside. Yes. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> I see you. Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace. That's Dennis the Menace. Yeah, he was here. Let's see some pictures over here. I think it's the old, he's old Donald, young Donald Trump. A lot of legends up here, guys. Is Dennis the Menace? They love that state. And then over here, as you can see across the street, you got the famous Gino Steaks over there. Straight ahead is the Italian market where Rocky ran down the 9th Street and they threw him a, an orange or an apple, I believe what it was. Right here across the street, the basketball courts. When Kobe Bryant went to Lower Marion High School, he would come here on the weekends with his friends and he'll run four court and play. All the neighborhood, all the neighborhood kids would come out to watch because they were the only ones that could slam dunk and they only came on Saturdays to play. Right over here, Kobe Bryant when he was in high school with his friends. Uh, out to order a steak. Got the best here. Mm. Right across the street here in the movie Rocky, it was a church. There was a church right here. It's been been torn down. And then they had a golf course there after that, and they had all a couple other businesses. Now they have this here. Uh, a lot of history down here, guys. Um, let's take a look at Gino Steaks real quick, and then we'll take a walk down the Italian market. Wow. 
as you can see, they strongly here support the police, sheriff, state police, you name it. They've been here. This is amazing. Look at all these patches. They support, you name it. They support their police. And up here, you can see pictures of all kinds of celebrities. Uh, let's see, anybody I recognize. <laughs> They're all celebrities, Oprah. Oprah, young Oprah. I'm sorry we're going fast, buddy. No, you're good. Don't worry about it. Uh, and the camera, I'm sorry that I'm going to walk fast to the camera. Uh, and all over, look, all, on both sides. Look, all around. Look, all the way around. All the way down. Up in the ceiling. Got celebrities everywhere. Got celebrities everywhere. All the way around, so. Those who follow Wow. Let's go down to the Italian market, man. Let's go down to the Italian market. They're the finest, the finest foods. I'm going to put a link in the description of some history of the Italian market. Um, there's a meat store right there in the corner. And it's going to be about him and his wife that owns the store across the street. It, the documentary is going to be about them. I'm going to put it in the description so you can see it. Uh, it's pretty cool. It gives you some history about the Italian market and 9th Street. And so let's go take a look. So this is the Italian market. Um, a lot of immigrants opened shop here, even worked here in the early 1900s. Um, a lot of these businesses are still owned by the families that opened them up in the early 1900s. Um, I mean, you name it. Uh, a lot of immigrants work down here. Uh, they call it the Italian market. But it's really any, uh, any uh, immigrants that wanted to work here was able to work. I can't even go that way. The street's closed. Uh, let me go this way. Mm, it was old wagon. Mm. Yeah, that, the, people think because it's called the Italian market, that that's all you're going to see here. Uh, in the early 1900s, um, Italians are the ones that really started it, but it's really uh, more Irish, German, Mexican, Asians. A lot of them opened up shop here. And they still have... They still have um, the business, like their family, from generation to generation. Some of these businesses down here have four generations of family, uh, like Esposito Meats. There are three generations. You got Giordano's up here in the corner on the right-hand side. I believe they're like four generations. Um, matter of fact, when I was, uh, how old was I, 10 years old, 11 years old, I worked for Giordano, but for his brother down the street. This is 9th Street. And his brother had Giordano's on 8th Street, which is that way. Uh, let me... There you go, that's better. I kept the, my, my mask kept covering my mouth and I can't talk right. So this is 9th Street. And Giordano's is right there. Across the street. Oh, that's been there for over 100 years. 
his brother has Jordano's on that corner down there on 8th Street. That's where I worked as a small child. I was probably like 10 years old. Um, they work with produce. They work with produce. So um, this is where there's the produce. Let's go down. Let's walk down here. Uh, yep. My brothers worked. My, all both my brothers worked here as children. They hired kids back in the 80s to work here. Uh, pasta is not great. Uh, look, fresh seafood. Uh, different stands by different owners. This is the Italian market. Fresh fruits. It's a beautiful place. Uh, Carl's meats. Carl's meats. This is one of the places that I used to deliver to. Yeah, when I used to deliver meats. This is one of the places I used to deliver meats to. So it was like right around here, somewhere right around here. Rocky was jogging this way. I think it was up a little bit more. Let's go up a little bit more. And somebody threw him an orange or an apple. Look, one side he got fruits, on the other side he got hats, gloves, wigs, toys. Kitchen products. Kitchen products. Uh, meats again. They got the freshest meats down here. Uh, and there goes. Fante's Kitchen, the documentary that I'm going to show you. That's right there. See it across the street? It says Fante's Kitchen. Fante's Kitchen Shop. You're going to learn about her and her husband who owns the meat store for three generations, over a hundred years. Her husband owned the meat store. His father, his great grandfather, his grandfather, and his great grandfather. And she married him. And she opened up that store. That's what the documentary is about. You're going to see that. And I believe this is him right here. Yes. Espacitos. Espacitos. This is the documentary you're going to learn about him. Espacitos. Uh, and these fruit stands are not owned by Espacitos. They're different owners. But here's Espacitos. And his wife is across the street. Like the documentary says. And it was right here. This street right here is where Rocky got thrown the orange. He ran that way, coming from this way. And ran right there, somebody on that side of the street threw him a fruit, which I'll show you in the clip. And there goes Espacito's wife. Her store is right there. Fantasies, everything for the kitchen. And that's what the documentary is about. Please watch the documentary and you'll learn about Mr. and Mrs. Espacito. And this is her shop. Uh, she... Uh, her mother, I believe, her father bought it off the original owners. They've been here since 1906. Pretty cool. You'll learn, you'll know a lot. If you want to learn about it, watch the documentary. It's in the description. Watch it. And her husband, and like I said, he was a little boy. Her husband is, in, I believe, in his 80s now, 70s, 80s. And he worked here as a kid. His, his great, I believe it was his great-grandfather who first started the, the business. That's what he was meets. Awesome, awesome. There's a lot of history down here, guys. Uh, so that now, so the last location I want to take you to is to the school where I went, to the school where Sage Stallone went in the movie Rocky V, where they beat him up and took his coat. Uh, so this is the wall. This is the wall right here. We were standing when the producer says, as long as we're quiet. We don't have to go to the corner over there behind the tape. We can stand right here with the cameras in front of us. As long as we be quiet, we can watch the scene where his son is getting beat up and they're taking off his jacket, when they're taking off his coat. And that scene happened right here, against this wall right here. If you watch the, if you watch the video, I'm sure it's the same color, but it had him against this wall right here. He was facing this way. 
and the kids had him against the wall right here, right against his wall. And they said, what are you doing with my coat on? He was like, come on, my dad just bought it for me. And they punched him in his stomach and they took off his jacket and they ran that way. And the girl stood here with him. In the movie, also, there was, there was a hole right here in the gate. There was a hole. And this is where Rocky said goodbye to his son. And said, hey, you got a bump in your ear. What's that in your ear? And he pulled out a dollar bill. He gave him a bump. Now, over here, let me show you the part where he was training. The little boy was training with Paulie. Paulie was training him how to fight. In the movie, well, in the movie, Paulie and Rocky and his son came from that way from Greenwood Street and they walk this way. And when you watch the movie, boom, there's the school. And he walked them right there to the gate, right here, right in that gate. There was a hole in the gate right there. There was a hole. And he walked his son through the gate. He said there was a bump in his ear. He said, what's wrong with my ear? He, what was it? He said he found a dollar in his ear and he gave it to him, went through there. Anyway, so let's do this. So like I said, Paulie was teaching him how to fight. He was training him. So that way he can go get, you know, go get his coat back and beat this kid up. Um, this is the street right here. And I want to show you the exact scene. They tried to beat him up again. He wasn't having it because he trained this time. So they so they pushed him in this alley and said, where's your money, man? Where's your lunch money or something like that? Something about his lunch money. And um, him and the girl was walking this way, and she was like, I, I, "If you don't have enough money, I'll give it to." She was like, "He was like, save it." He was like, "Save it." And then that's when they, right here, this is it right here. Let me park my, let me park my scooter. Uh, park my scooter. Uh, don't fall! Don't fall! Please don't fall. Okay, so this was much cleaner then, but there's the wall. They had him against that wall. Um, and he said, where's your lunch money? Whatever he says. And um, he came out here and there's the school. He was like, put up your hands. Uh, no, he didn't say put up your hands yet. He said, he said, come on, what's up? And they, they started fighting right here in the middle of the street. Right here in the middle of the street. They were fighting where that, where that, where that stain is at. And, and, and Stage was just punching them, beating them up. And all the kids in the schoolyard, they all started climbing on this gate right here. They all started climbing and screaming. And uh, after after he beat him up, he said to the other kid, come on, put up your hands, put up your hands. And he was like, no, I didn't like him anyway. And he starts running that way. And then he grabs the girl. Oh, my God, I can't wait to tell my dad. Come on, he's going to be so happy. And he started, both of them started running this way. And he was holding her hand. And he got his coat back and he ran that way. And uh, the kids were screaming, uh, Sage, 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 something like that. Because, he, you know, he won. He beat the kid up. And he shook his hand. They, walked, they went, uh, one ran that way. I didn't like him anyway. And he ran that way. And then he said, let's end this now. They shook hands. He said, I got no problem with that. And he walked away. And then Sage ran that way with his girlfriend holding a hand. My dad ain't going to believe it. So that's this is the fight scene when Sage got his revenge. What you got in your pocket today? Nothing. Come on. Let's have nothing. I got nothing. Come on. Give me the money. Come on. Hey, I got to eat. He's hungry. He's got to eat. We'll eat this. Pretty cool, isn't it? So, 
uh, there you go, guys, man. I hope I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had uh, I had I had fun bringing it to you, uh, but it's really really cold out here. I'm freezing. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a map and show you what I did today. For, uh, what I did today for you guys. I really went out. I went all out today, and it's freezing. It's like um, high 30s, mid 30s, something like that. Um, and I came on the scooter, so I'm like freezing my butt off. Um, and th this is this is for the people that say that my channel should be called "Can I Have a Dollar?" Um, I go out and I do things for my channel. Um, I just don't sit home behind a laptop and asking for a dollar. Um, my donation goes towards my channel, goes towards me and my family. You know, you already know what the medical supplies go to. So for them people to sit there and say that I don't do nothing and I just ask for donations, it's bullshit. Okay, you come out here and do what I did. Go do feed the homeless like I did and make 29 sandwiches and do the stuff I do. Go down Kensington and catch Mercer and get hospitalized for two, four days, two, two to four days. And you see, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm earned, I earn every penny I get from my subscribers. So please, stop talking trash if you don't know me. You know, don't listen to what people say. You know what I mean? You, you, look, you look and sound stupid. Um, and that's all I really have to say. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I already brought you the, the the Kensington area Rockies and the, the Rocky Steps, the art museum. I already brought you all that. So this is what I really wanted to bring you for a long, long time. And I, I hope you enjoyed it. I really did because I freezing my butt off. And it's really, really cold out here. So um, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Yes, I left my dentures home. Uh, but if you're new for the channel, please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified every time I go live. And I go live just about any time I want during the week. So remember, and everybody else, you know the deal. Please leave a tip right, right, right under this video. And, and um, it's right next to share. You'll see the tip button. It says share and something else. And then it says tip. Please leave a tip. It's a two dollar tip or whatever, or you know my ca my cash app PayPal is, is up. So please do what you can to help a brother in need, uh, big time. So um, again, thank you again uh, for watching. Uh, remember, guys, love is the key. Jesus will love you. Love, peace, happiness, and health. And I will bring you Kendrick's video this weekend. Love, peace, guys. Love you guys. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, hope to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray. All I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want. Kinda stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of cocaine Wait no, it's living with no shame Wait no, it's sleeping in on Sundays I guess it's different for each of us and that's okay Well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life